Now, the storm scared so many people with family and friends in the Joplin area. One of those is our colleague Michael Butler, a photojournalist here at NBC Action News. And yeah, Mike, you raced down there yesterday evening. What did you find? I uh, just found a lot of destruction. I mean, it, it's pretty awful down here. I, I did find all of my family, fortunately, though. You did find them. That's, that is good. Now, you, I know you worked there for many years, too. What about family and what about other friends? Because uh, I know you worked in that market for a number of years. Uh, yes, uh, I did. Um, I, I haven't been able to contact all, all of the friends that I have here. I know um, some or unfortunately didn't have family members that, that made it. Um, but from what I can tell, most, most of the people that I do know are okay and safe and sound. Tell us about your family and, and what they described that they went through. Um, it was just, uh, I think, just a scary experience for them. My parents were in their storm cellar and uh, could just see it coming, and it was apparently really loud. Um, my sister-in-law's uh, sister uh, actually had probably the worst experience because um, she was in a closet in this general area where the tornado was the worst, and uh, she, pretty much her house was completely demolished, um, and she was lucky to, to even get out of it. She hid in a closet? Yeah, she, she hid in the closet and apparently everything else fell down around her. Wow. Oh was she injured, Mike? No, she wasn't. Um, she, she said she had a little trouble getting out uh, once, the, once the tornado was over, but, but fortunately, she, she just held the door closed. Wow. Mike, you know, one of the things, if you've not seen a storm like this in person, this is your hometown. Describe when you come back to something like this and the landmarks are gone, the street signs, the trees, the way that you sort of navigate your way home every night. It's all gone. Describe how difficult it is to figure out what part of town you might even be in. Uh, it's it's really difficult. I mean, it's it's it doesn't even look real here. Um, it's just there's there's no landmarks anymore. Even the houses don't look like houses, um, and it just goes on for miles. So it's unless you know what street you're on, and there's no street signs, you just you really have no idea. Um, it doesn't look anything like it did. Well, Mike Butler, we certainly wish the, uh, the best for you and for your family. We'll keep checking in with you, too. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Mike.